Bum 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 The Peter Dislike Show Bum 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 I wanna call out how I feel about um some companies that are offering unlimited vacation time, unlimited time off or something like that. And I wanna talk about my experience with that. I I'm kind of on the fence on that for 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 a, a number of reasons. First of all, I do believe that we shouldn't be counting how much time people take off. It's what people do that actually matters, right? So so I will give that for that. But this past week, I had a little bit of drama, and so it really goes to show I might have handled it differently if there was a number to count to. Okay, so this April we got a solar eclipse and also a conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus. Conjunction I probably don't have to travel anywhere to see. I just want a day off so that I could uh, be well rested, that's all. Uh, but the solar eclipse, I'm going to probably travel to Dallas. And while I'm in Dallas, I hope to go see um, the place where JFK was shot a little over 60 years ago now. Now, I really want to take both of those trips, so um, that's good. I, I, I already uh, talked to uh, everybody at work about it. it. It seems to be good. Now, this past week, I quit using caffeine because um, I ordered some uh, tantalum. They come in sheets, six inches by six inches, and I hope to anodize it. And I know from experience I need very steady hands to do that. Lately, I've been uh, having difficulty with uh, 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 caffeine-related just jitteriness. And um, so the tantalum's on its way. I'm 48 hours removed from the caffeine now, and hopefully it'll come tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be, I'll be done with it and I can get back to my caffeine. Uh, I'll, there's another project that I want to do. Uh, I've been collecting a lot of um, household dust. Now, um, when radon in our environment decays, it makes polonium-210, which sticks to dust, and I hope to extract polonium-210 from the dust. Now, um, it involves a lot of um, concentrated acids, obviously it involves dust, which has all sorts of allergens, and, um, uh, and potentially radioactivity, depending on um, how much you... Uh, I hope to see a visible amount of polonium-210. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, finding some kind of solution to dissolve the dust and the polonium into solution, and then electroplate it onto a uh, suitable metal. I've been reading a lot into it, and um, hopefully enough that I could detect with a Geiger counter, and potentially enough to see at least a, a, the color of um, polonium-210. And so I want really steady hands when I'm working with stuff like that, right? It's hard enough when you got all this gear on, uh, and, then, and then your hands are, are wobbling like, and it's just, just uh, so I quit using the caffeine and I feel like a mess. In an ideal world, I would have taken a few days off this week, but in the real world, I don't know if it will jeopardize other days that I want to take. If I had a number to work with, I might be able to uh, do some uh, cost benefit analysis, right? So just a thought on that. But at the same time, I don't think we should be counting. So I don't know. Feel free to leave a comment on how you might fix this solution, right? This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.